Hi, I'm Jeff Nimoy, the cooking caveman. No, not this type of caveman, but this type of caveman. A man who cooks with ingredients only available to the caveman. My motto, if you can eat it raw, you can cook with it. So let me show you some of the healthier things I cook with to replace some of the unhealthier things you cook with. Today we're gonna to bake our own bread using almond butter. That's crazy. Most people use wheat flour to bake bread. Most bakeries use it. I don't know if many of you know this, but you cannot eat wheat raw. Try that. Try saying that five times fast. You cannot eat wheat raw. 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 Blah, blah, blah. If you ate wheat raw, you might get pretty sick. You need about one and a half cups. I'm just gonna eyeball it here because I'm crazy that way. To this, we're going to add five eggs. We're actually almost done. This recipe calls for very few ingredients. Next up is baking soda. Now, I know what you're saying. Baking soda, available to the caveman? Come on, Jeff, give me a break. However, I have tried countless recipes to try to make my own bread, caveman style, and it's impossible to get it to rise without some baking soda or baking powder. So I'm using baking soda, which really is just some ground up minerals, uh, very much like salt. So, in a sense, I am only using something available to the caveman. No, he would never grind up all the minerals to make baking soda, but then again, he wouldn't have a blender or an oven to make bread, so let's cheat a little bit. We need three quarters of a teaspoon. I use about one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Lemon juice combined with the baking soda, an acid and the baking soda will release carbon dioxide and that will give the rise, rise of the almond butter bread in 3D and IMAX coming this fall. Let's line a loaf pan with some parchment paper. You can certainly grease your pan if you want instead of using parchment paper. I like this because it's really easy to clean up. And even when I do grease my pan, sometimes uh, some of my bread sticks to it. And when was the last time you had your pan greased, Nimoy? It's been a while. Uh, one more thing I might want to do, and you can certainly skip this step, is you might want to add some fresh herbs. I've got some lovely rosemary here. I'm going to uh, just give a quick chop on this and uh, make some rosemary bread. You can use caraway seeds and get sort of a rye bread flavor going, or you can uh, toast up some minced onions. My cutting board's a little uneven, as you can hear. Let's throw that in as well. Let's get this in the loaf pan real quick. I set my oven for 350 degrees. It'll take anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes, depending on how crappy your oven is. Okay, let's see how our bread is doing. Look at that nice rise. You see that? Oh, that's gorgeous. It smells so wonderful, full of rosemary. Normally, I would let this cool for quite a while. Eh. Normally, normally, <laughs> normally, eh. normally, I would let this cool for quite a while before cutting into it. But I mean, you're here. Yeah, just give it a touch to the top. If it's nice and spongy like that, it's done. Oh, you see the steam coming off. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that great? Looks just like bread. Wow, that is so hot. It smells amazing. Ah, hot. I made a little egg salad earlier with some fresh herbs, some uh, cilantro, a little of my homemade mayonnaise, which you can see the video for on the Cooking Caveman channel, a little minced onion, some other spices. If I had the time right now, I would toast this, but... I'm too impatient. Mmm. Mmm. Really, really good. If you have a peanut allergy, almond butter is the way to go. And if you have a gluten allergy, almond butter bread is the way to go. Mmm. That rosemary gives it a nice little touch as well. Excellent. Oh my god, this is so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Caveman like. Ugga friggin' bugger. Ugga bugger! <laughs> For more recipes and information on the caveman diet, please visit cookingcaveman.com. Screw this, I'm having another piece.